Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how to put realistic body paint on people. So obviously the first thing you need is an image that has skin showing and you need some sort of logo or image or tattoo or whatever you're gonna put on there. So I'm gonna use this My Little Pony logo. I'm gonna drag it over and drag it in. And then I'm gonna resize it by holding Control T and making sure that this is clicked right here and resize it to where I want and place it where I want. If you need to rotate yours to kind of get it in place, go to the corner out here and rotate it. When you have it where you want it and the size that you want it and the rotation that you want, then just click check up top. And then we're just gonna hide it for now because we need to make a displacement map. So we're gonna go over to our layer here, our background layer, go control J to make a copy. And then on that layer, we're gonna go up to image, adjustments and go to desaturate. Then we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just make it like radius two pixels. Click okay. And then head down here to our adjustments, this little half circle here, the adjustment layers, and go up and add a levels and just kind of contrast it out a little bit. So mine's already fairly contrasty, so I don't have to do too much, but make sure there's like the, the highlights are showing fairly well and the shadows are showing fairly well. And then all we're gonna do is save that out. So we're gonna go up to file and we're gonna go save as, I'm gonna call this one muscles map and I'm just gonna save it on my desktop right now. Click okay and okay. And then we can get rid of those layers that we added. So get rid of the adjustment layer, trash it, and then our copy that we made, you can go and trash that as well. And then we're gonna save as again and just name this one muscles final and save. And then we can bring our logo back. So next we're gonna actually apply the displacement map to our logo. So to do that, you have to go to your image, whatever you have that you're gonna put on there, right click over to the side here and go up to convert to smart object. From there, we're gonna go back up to filter. We're gonna go to distort and we're gonna go to displace. In there, horizontal scale 10, vertical scale 10, though that's good for me. That means it's kind of high, like that's gonna warp it quite a bit. But this guy's muscles are pretty big, so I wanna warp it quite a bit. And I don't really need to worry about anything else down here. That's all good. Click OK. And then we have to find that map. So I have to go find muscles map right here. Double click, and it's going to distort it. You can see that it kind of creates the map of the uh, the the contrasty bumpy zones of the image that we created the map from. Then from there we're gonna have to blend a little bit. But before we do that, we're gonna take our background layer because we gotta we want to add some of this grit and texture from his body onto this logo first. So we're gonna copy this layer again, Control J. This time we're gonna bring it above the logo. So it's just this image again. We're gonna go back to image and we're gonna go to adjustments and desaturate again. But this time we're gonna go to filter, other, and we're gonna go to high pass. And in there, you, now you can see the grit that kind of shows up in there. So just use your slider to get a reasonable amount of grit, you know, eight to 10, somewhere in there is probably pretty good. Click okay. And then we just want that to apply to the logo though. So we're gonna right click again over to the side here and we're gonna go create clipping mask. Now you can see that obviously nothing is showing up here. So we have to make it so that it's see-through a bit, which blend it. So we're gonna go to here, our blending modes, and we're gonna select linear light. And you can really see that adds that kind of texture into the logo already. And already it looks pretty good, but there's still some more things that we have to do. If you still wanna adjust your logo more, you can do it by going up to filter and using the liquify tool or you can go to edit and transform and use warp. Both of those things um, can, can help you kind of nudge your logo into like these little areas to kind of bend it a little bit more or twist it. So next, we're gonna go back to our main logo layer. We're gonna right click and go up to blending options. In there, all we're gonna worry about is this blend if down here. And we're just gonna look at the underlying layer. This side, when you slide this little slider, will add the shadows in, and this side will add the highlights. But we don't wanna slide this together, so if you hold Alt, it'll split these in half, 
and you can see the transition is a lot more natural. So you just wanna add some of that glare kind of back in that's on his body so it looks like it's glaring on the logo as well and not just underneath. And on this side, we can hold Alt and click and split this one. You can see those the shadows coming in and making it look a lot more real, like it's wrapping around right there. I think it looks a lot better. When you're satisfied with what you've done on each side here, you can also move it in if you want, like this side, but I'm gonna leave mine just spread out to the edges. When you're good, click OK. So now that we've added in those highlights and shadows, let's go back to our logo layer and apply a blend mode here. So you can just pick whatever makes sense, whatever looks best for you. So if you wanna get rid of the white, you can click that one, right? There's a lot of different options and different looks for your image and there's no right or wrong answer. You just pick one that makes sense for you. I'm gonna pick hard light, I think. I think that one, I want. I wanna keep the white in mind, so I'm gonna go with hard light. And then we're just gonna apply our last like final finishing touches and that's just three adjustment layers. The first one, so right here, is going to be levels. And all I'm gonna do on levels is use this one slider on the left here to just peel that back so it looks like it kind of blends in just a little bit more. This, and then I'm gonna click back on my logo layer and then add another adjustment. And I'm gonna go hue saturation. With that one, I'm just gonna peel back the saturation a little bit until it, and yours might be different than this, but I'm gonna peel it back because I feel like this image isn't very poppy. So bringing the saturation, the amount of color back, I think uh, makes it look like it's a little bit more part of the image, a little more natural. And then the last one, just to make the colors kind of pop in a different way, I'm gonna go back to my main layer here, and my logo layer, and I'm gonna add a vibrance. And I'm just gonna kick that up a little bit. And uh, you don't see it do too much here, but I'm gonna go just a touch so it makes some of these colors pop back out a little bit in the end. And then the last two things you might wanna do to your logo is maybe bring down the opacity a bit so you can adjust that as you want. And then also because skin isn't like paper, it's not a perfect canvas, you might also wanna to go to filter, blur, and back to Gaussian blur, and maybe add like a slight blur, 1.5, 1, 1.5, somewhere in there to just make it not so perfect. But on a side note, if you are trying to paint your logo onto your subject and it's along an edge so that you have some of the logo that's sticking out, all you have to do is go over to your layer and add, click on this button right here, this box with a circle in it, add a layer mask, and then use a brush that is black, so the foreground color is black here, up here, you can adjust the size of your brush. I would say, um, you know, that would be good for my image around there and hardness in 60s, 70s, somewhere. And then just use that brush to paint over all the extra stuff that you don't want from the outside. Make sure the opacity is up at 100 as well. If you accidentally erase something that you don't want to erase, then just flick this right here over to a white brush and use the white brush to paint it back in. And that's basically it. That's how you add realistic body paint to someone in Photoshop. So if you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.